Christ the King, we trust in you. One, two. One, two. Jesus Christ is a king. The Jews weren't waiting for some hippie to come along or somebody who would be their buddy or homeboy. They were waiting for a king to come and rule the nations and establish peace and justice on the earth. When he was born, the three magi, the wise men, came looking for him. They were looking for the king of the Jews. When he stood before Pontius Pilate, he said, you're right in saying, I'm a king. When he started his ministry, he announced the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He talked about the final judgment where he would sit over the world, over all the nations, and judge them as king. When he hung on the cross, king of the Jews hung over his head. And the good thief next to him said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said, I promise you today, you'll be with me in paradise. But this wasn't like any other king. He wasn't born in a palace. He was born in a manger. He lived his whole life in poverty. Instead of trying to acquire more and more wealth and power, he renounced it every chance that he got. He didn't wear a crown of gold. He wore a crown made of thorns. He was lifted high above the world, but it was on a cross, blessing and forgiving those who killed him. But make no mistake about it, he is a king. And a king has a kingdom, and a kingdom has boundaries. He invites us to accept his reign over our minds and hearts and wills and lives. See, having a king means you're not the king, I'm not the king. It means we don't do religion on our terms, but on his. We can't be cafeteria Catholics picking and choosing the doctrines that we follow, picking and choosing our commandments that we want, chucking out the rest. We don't set the terms of our faith, we receive it. Jesus Christ is the king. The fact that he's a king means he reigns over our hearts and minds, which means that our faith has implications on our lives that stretch way beyond what happens in church on the pew every Sunday. The fact that he's my king means I'm called to serve. He washed his apostles' feet and he told them, you call me Lord and Master, look what I'm doing. If you call me Lord and Master, this is how you're supposed to serve other people. Look, I know it might be scary, this whole idea of having a king. In fact, kingdoms of this world have gone out of style because a lot of kings have violated people's freedom in establishing their kingdoms and their power. But Jesus is unlike any other king. He's a king who guarantees our freedom. Here's a king who makes us free from sin, free from self-centeredness, free even from death, free from the reign of this world. This is a king who invites us not just to be subjects, but who raises us up and makes us heirs, heirs of far more than kingdoms of brick and mortar. Jesus Christ is a king. Is he your king?